Trojan Sports Now. Hello and welcome to Trojan Sports Now. I'm your host, Ryan Renfro, and today we are joined by women's golfer Fatima Fernandez Cano. Fatima, thank you so much for coming in and joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. We're going to jump right into uh, this season. You guys are having an awesome season. Uh, you guys have won several tournaments, uh, a lot of success. Uh, talk about, you know, we're just starting off with your team here, then we'll get into you a little mm -hmm. bit. But talk about what you guys have been able to accomplish this year as a team. Well, as a team, we've won three tournaments this year. One of them was in the fall, uh, Jacksonville State Tournament. Uh, that was one out of three that we won. And we came runner-up in, in another one in Middle Tennessee. That was the last tournament of the fall. And then we jumped in the, into the spring. We had five tournaments. It was like a very busy season. And we won two tournaments. We won the Sanford Intercollegiate, and we shot actually our, our lowest round ever, 276, which was a very big deal for us because we played some very good golf out there, and we had, I believe, three or f yeah, three rounds under, under par, 268, 167, and then an even par that made us have that 276. That was a very big deal for us. Lowest round in school history, I believe, for the women's golf team. That was pretty good. And then after that, we, we went to Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. And we won that tournament. It was the last one of the spring that kind of gave us a little bit of, of confidence jumping into, into the Sumbul Conference tournament that's coming up. Yeah, gotcha. And talk about what it's like to, you know, to go to Ole Miss um, and, and defeat you know, those, you know, these teams. Like you guys are not just you know, holding your own against this, these teams, but you guys are just dominant. I mean, you're doing fantastic this season. Like what's different about, you know, can you just kind of talk about y'all's success, you know, uh, what it's like to face off against that kind of competition and play so well? Yeah, well, Ole Miss was... We went in, into Ole Miss after playing two tournaments pretty much back to back and, and we were kind of like ready to go, ready to go and play. And first day we, we played pretty good and we were in first place I believe. And then the second day was when, when the biggest advantage, uh, when, when we took the biggest advantage and we shot six under I believe for the team. And we took like a 17 shot lead or something like that mm -hmm. for the, against the, 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 the second team there. So that was pretty good. And the last day we just went out there and I mean, even though we had that big gap between between us and the, and the second team, kind of went out there and, and we were like, okay, let's win the day again, let's do this again. And we played pretty good as well, some solid golf last day, and we were able to keep that, I believe, 17 or something shot mm -hmm. uh, gap. So how much, is, how much of golf is, is mental? I mean, a lot of sports is physical, but how much of, just talk us through, like, how much of golf it really is mental? Because I know when I play, I, I get too competitive and I immediately want to walk. I mean, it's just, it's not good. So just talk about uh, how, how mental the game of golf really is. It is very, very mental. I mean, it's a big part of it that is, that is physical, of course. I mean, you mm -hmm. need to be able to swing the club and, and to do all this. And I mean, it is in sport, mm -hmm. so we do work out in case you were wondering. <laughs> it's a sport and like, <laughs> we need the, the physical aspect of it, but it's very, very mental. Like when you're out there and you're under pressure and, and you're, you're playing mm -hmm. like these other teams and, and I mean, it can all be great and one hole or one shot after that, it can just all go wrong Change. kind of thing. So you can, you need to be able to be like, okay, it's one bad shot, I need to go to the next one mm -hmm. and just do this again. Like, I know how to do this. Like, sometimes, even though, I mean, we all hit the ball really well, we're in practice and we can all hit the ball, but then you can go to tournaments and it can go, it can either go real well or it can go real bad if you, if you know how to handle that pressure or that, like, competition kind of thing. Gotcha. So let's talk a little bit about you. Let's jump into that real quick. Uh, you are also, along with the team, having an incredible uh, season this year. Talk about, you know, your success. You, uh, for the third time this year, they're your Sunbelt Conference Golf of the Month. Mm -hmm. Talk about what it is, you know, an honor that that is. Just talk about that. Well, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big deal for myself. I, I started the, this year, my junior year, and I, I wanted to do, I wanted to, of course, to play well. Mm -hmm. I, I jumped into the fall season after, after a pretty good summer of playing different tournaments and different big tournaments. That kind of helped me to, to keep that momentum going. And I came out here and, and we had like a month or something to practice and to get ready for the fall. And I mean, I had several goals that I set for myself, and I just I was just working on different stuff to just get through the through the fall. And I mean, I played pretty good. I didn't play my my best golf in the fall, but it was it was pretty good. It was like my best season so far, so I was pretty good. And then uh, when we jumped into the off season, I made some some adjustments in my swing and in my different things in my game that really helped me coming into the into the spring. And then we started the spring season late February, which left like let us. Uh, have like a month and a half or something to get ready for it. That was that was pretty good. Got ready for it and then jumped right into tournaments and tournaments after tournament kind of 
helped me keep that momentum going and that was that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy about it, of course. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We have. <laughs> You've done very well this season. Uh, yeah. it's, it definitely shows on the course. Talk us a little bit about, you know, walk us through your swing. I mean, you talk about what are some adjustments. I'll, I'll ask you that first, mm -hmm. and then we'll get into – I just want to know, like, what your swing is like because uh, you're a pretty good golfer. Uh, <laughs> so just talk about some of those adjustments that you've made in the offseason going into this year. Okay, well, some – I mean, they're not big, big, big adjustments because I know that I, it's just little things that I need to correct a little bit to make my ball strike more consistent. Mm -hmm. So in, like, my bad days, my ball strike and my, my, my iron shot and my long – my yeah, irons and, and three boots and drivers and stuff, they go, even if it, if it doesn't go great, they can still go into the green and stuff like that. It's not like I miss by a lot like I used to. Like my gotcha. two years before and stuff like that, I, I used to like have either great days or very bad days iron-wise. Gotcha. So that was some of the things and some little adjustments in my, in my fall-through especially where I moved less and like different things with my, with my arms and stuff that made me have more consistent iron uh, a ball strike. Gotcha. And then I, I also spent a lot of time in the putting green, which made me better actually, because I've also ha I've also hit a lot of greens in regulation, which like helped me have decent scores. But then when it came to the green, I was very very uncomfortable there, and I didn't really finish uh, finish it up, and I didn't really make a lot of birdies because of that. So okay. I spent a lot of time in the putting green, working my putting and all that, and that helped me. Like right now, when I have a, a, a good day of a ball strike and I hit a lot of greens, that, made, that helps me finish up some, some of those rounds that, that I didn't use to and now I can't. Gotcha. So once again, walk us through, because I know I, I just, mm -hmm. you know, baseball, I play, grew up playing uh -huh. baseball, and I, I think I told you before the interview, you want to keep your, your, shoulder, your inside shoulder inside, you want to yeah. get inside the baseball. But in golf, you kind of want to like, keep, is it keep your right? Arm straight and then kind of roll over. You still want to want to keep it inside, but you don't want to hold your your wrist. You okay. know what I mean? Like you you want to you want to keep it inside, but you need to roll your wrist a little bit so the so the club face squares up and okay. is the target. I gotcha. So um, I, I will remember that next time I go play <laughs> golf because I need to get a little bit better. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you know earlier in the interview I said you know not only you were you're you've been recognized uh, in the conference mm -hmm. in the Sunbelt Conference as golfer of the month three times this year, but you, you've also been recognized nationally. You're one of the top players in the country. Mm -hmm. So talk about what it's like to to hear that. I mean, you're you're in college and you're a Division One golfer and you are one of the best players in the country. It's a big honor to be honest with you. It's something that I really have I've worked for. I've put a lot of work in to to be able to reach this this level and even like to keep going now. I still practice every day to to keep getting better. But every time I hear either like my stroke average is one of the best of the best in the country or top seven, top ten or or I'm in the world amateur rankings and is the twenty in the world, twenty one, it's it's a big honor for me because it's something that I really work for. So every time I see it, I mean it makes me very happy and it feels like the, all the hard work that we put into, into it, it kind of pays off. Gotcha. Now you guys have the biggest, uh, you know, the conference tournament coming up mm -hmm. uh, this, this weekend. Talk about, you know, how excited you are to get, you know, into the tournament and to compete against the conference opponents. I am very excited. We are all very excited. We've been working pretty hard this week and a half that we have, we've had with our tournaments. We've been working very hard and we're very excited. We, we know that if we play our best and we play as we've been playing the last couple of tournaments, we can, we can win the tournament. And our main goal is to go there and, and win it because we want to get to regionals and, and get to like, mm -hmm. our main goal is to get to nationals, but we know we need to go through regionals first. And we're trying to get it one, to, to do one step at a time. So for me individually, of course, I, I want to go there and, and, and win always, but as a team, like, we're all very, we're all ready, and we're all very excited to go. We're, I'm very excited to watch you. I know, <laughs> I know the rest of the Trojan faithful are as well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you. We're gonna, I like to ask uh, really quick, you know, some to get to know you questions, some fun questions. So uh, it's stuff like, you know, your favorite movie, your favorite book, mm -hmm. those kind of questions. So we'll start off with those two. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie, uh, The Pursuit of Happiness. Pursuit Will of Happiness, Smith. solid movie, I, Will Smith. I love that movie. It's kind of like. Somebody doesn't give up and like still follows his dreams, even though it's kind of like very hard and, mm -hmm. and some people seem stupid for him to, to pursue that dream. He still does it. So I really, I really like that one. That is a good movie. Will Smith is actually, he's arguably one of the best actors you know, mm -hmm. ever. But uh, now your favorite book. What, if you had to pick your favorite book, which one would it be? Mm, that one, uh, I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. No? I couldn't tell you. Are you not a big you. reader or do I'm, you like so much? Like, you I, just I'm really, really not a big reader. 
I'm I not. Understand <laughs> I understand. I read the teleprompter, but I don't really, I don't really read much books. Well, uh, that's all the time uh, we have today, Fatima. Thank you so much for thank coming you. in and joining us, and good luck in the Simbot Conference. Thank you so much. And thank you for tuning in as well. Be sure to stay up to date on all Trojan sports, and remember, go Trojans. <laughs>